I welcome members to the 15th meeting in 2014 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. I ask members to switch off any mobile phones. Uh, we have apologies from Richard Baker. Agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed the committee takes item six in private. This is to allow us to consider the further the delegated powers provisions in the Food Scotland Bill. Does the committee agree to take item six in private, please? Thank you. Uh, does the committee also agree to take further consideration of its stage one report on the bill in private? Agreed. Agenda item two is instruments subject to affirmative procedure and no points have been raised by a legal advisor on the Judicial Pensions and Retirement Act 1993, part-time sheriff, stipendiary magistrate and justice of the peace order 2014 draft. Is the committee content with this instrument, please? Thank you. Agenda item three is instruments subject to negative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the additional support for learning sources of information, Scotland Amendment Order 2014, SSI 2014-103. However, in relation to this instrument, the committee may wish to note that the Scottish Government intends to bring forward a further amending instrument at the next available opportunity. Such an instrument would make provision to correct the error in SSI 2011-102, as the undertaking given previously in relation to that instrument has unfortunately been overlooked. Is the committee otherwise content with this instrument? Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the marketing of vegetable plant material amendment Scotland regulations 2014 SSI 2014 111 nor on the adoption and children Scotland Act 200, sorry, 2007 compulsory supervision order reports and applications for permanence orders regulations 2014 SSI 2014 113 is the committee content with these instruments please. Agenda item four is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. The National Health Service functions the Common Services Agency, Scotland Amendment Order 2014, SSI 2014-100. The meaning of Article 2E of the order, which inserts Article 2IA into the National Health Service functions of the Common Services Agency, Scotland Order 2008, could be clearer. This is in respect that the provision specifies as a further function of the common service agencies, the exercise of the power of the Scottish Ministers under Section 47 of the National Health Service Scotland Act 1978. This could be clearer, so far as this is intended to confer on the CSA both the power of the Ministers to act in accordance with the duty specified in Section 47.1, but not to confer the duty itself, which is exercised by each health board on behalf of the ministers in accordance with the functions of Health Board Scotland Order 1991 and the power of ministers specified in section 47.2. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the order to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground H as the meaning of Article 2E could be clearer? Okay. Agenda item 5 is the Procurement Reform Scotland Bill. This item of business is consideration of the delegated powers provisions in this bill after stage two. Members will have noted that the Scottish Government has provided a supplementary delegated powers memorandum and will have seen the briefing paper. Stage three consideration of the bill is due to take place on Tuesday the 13th of May. The deadline for lodging amendments is 4.30pm tomorrow, the 7th of May. The committee may therefore wish to agree on its conclusions today. The committee may wish to note that the amendments which have been made to the powers in sections 7, 16, 21 and 24 implement recommendations in the committee's report at stage 1. Does the committee agree to report that it is content with the provisions in the bill which have been amended at stage 2 to insert or substantially alter provisions conferring powers to make subordinate legislation and other delegated powers? I agree. And I would welcome the fact that we have taken note of the and produced amendments following our recommendation. Thank you, John. Do members have any other comments? There being none, that ends agenda item five, and I move this meeting into private.